those of you who watched Green Bay defeat Detroit in overtime, 23-20. Fourth and two inches for the first down for the Philadelphia Eagles. Cunningham appears to have gotten it. Randall Cunningham on fourth and less than a foot. Buddy Ryan sends him over the top. As the Philadelphia Eagles continue to run on the Denver Broncos, they went 96 yards in 13 plays with the opening drive for a touchdown, and they have thrown just one pass thus far. Yeah, one of the things everyone in Denver was saying, wait till the Broncos play those NFC Eastern teams with those huge offensive linemen and those huge defensive linemen. Well, this is a defensive line here in Denver that's 10 pounds heavier than it has been over the last few years under Joel Collier. They're averaged 279 pounds, but the offensive line of the Eagles is about 295. So there's a tremendous mismatch. And that may be one of the reasons why Philadelphia is able to run the football. First and goal, Chris Carter wide to the left. They throw for Carter. He has the touchdown. His favorite route, he told us, is the fade pattern. And look what they ran, Terry. Exactly. Carter told us the thing, my most favorite route is the fade, and I use my eyes to freeze the defensive back. And I lean on him, and I want, look at him looking at the defensive back. Gets into him, then the defensive back, he coyed him, he got him to turn around. And then automatically Carter turns around, makes a fine catch of an excellent thrown ball by Cunningham. Carter, who has missed Mike Quick as an opposer, uh, opposing, or rather as a counterpart. <laughs> Get it out, though. I did. <laughs> polysyllabic words to <laughs> oh, uh, the sun is out the broncos get the touch there rather the eagles get the touchdown to us randall cunningham to chris carter and they lead it 14 to nothing it was a week ago in seattle that the denver broncos fell behind seattle 14 to nothing they trailed at halftime and came back to win in overtime but this has been a most impressive philadelphia start scoring both times they've had the ball Those of you who watched Cincinnati's route of Tampa Bay, 56 to 23, the final in that one. Our score is Philadelphia 14, the Denver Broncos nothing. The Eagles won the toss and took the opening kickoff 96 yards on 13 plays on the ground. Keith Byers got the touchdown from 16 yards out. And then Izell Jenkins picked off a John Elway pass that was deflected off Vance Johnson. And the Eagles kept it on the ground for the most part, and on Randall Cunningham's second pass of the game, he found Chris Carter for the TD. Yeah, one step, lay it up. You don't have a lot of room, and you get rid of the ball quickly because the corners come up and press the wide receivers, and Cunningham using the talents, the strength of Carter. Carter said, I love the fade route. That's my most favorite route. So Cunningham said, fine, let's do it. Do it right now. They did. It's a touchdown. Ken Bell, Darren Carrington back to return the kick. This is a Philadelphia team that is, uh, for the second week in a row, meeting an AFC Eastern Division, Western Division rival. They defeated the Raiders in a draft game last week, 10 to seven, and they go to San Diego from here. And they lead it 14 to nothing with almost everything accomplished on the ground. And they hop will kick off. Eric Everett will hold the ball down. The forecast was for snow this afternoon, but it has held off, so it's a, a chilly day with a temperature around 40. Carrington will touch back, and again, the Broncos will go on offense, but for only the second time in the first quarter of play. John Elway, one for two. Hasn't had a ball hit the ground yet. One to his guys, one to theirs. And 2.52 to go in the first quarter of play. Elway, who had established very modest numbers this year, and now they will call timeout. 2.52 to go. First quarter of play, 14-0 Philadelphia. Looking for something phantom? Or should I say Susie? Why? Well, because Coors Light won't slow you down. Tougher. Well, now everyone can enjoy Coors Light this Halloween. Can I buy you one? Not now, thanks. I'm driving. You can still enter the Coors Light $100,000 Phantom of the Fridge sweepstakes. It's Susie. Visit the Coors Light Halloween display for clues. Forget the clues. It's Susie. 
Xerox presents the Great American Torture Test. We challenge the bone-numbing cold of northern Alaska and pass with flying colors. Xerox. Because extreme conditions demand extreme protection. Mom, send $500 to us, or there won't be a honeymoon. To send money fast, come to Western Union. It'll get to any of our 13,000 locations, usually in 15 minutes or less. Western Union, the fastest way to send money. Another Pontiac First is ready for delivery. The first four-door version of Grand Prix style and performance. The new Grand Prix Sports Sedan. You've got to drive it. The exciting new four-door Grand Prix. You've got to check it out. See your dealer about early buyer and other incentives. Now in the new Grand Prix Sports Sedan. 14-0. Eagles lead the Denver Broncos, a 5-2 Philadelphia team chasing the New York Giants. Meeting a Denver team that has a three-game edge at the midway point of the season over its AFC Western Division rivals. Here's Steve Sewell making a late entrance into the ballgame. And Melvin Bratton comes out. Update you on other scores. Cincinnati wins big over Tampa Bay. Cleveland defeated Houston this afternoon. And here are the Denver Broncos for the second time in the ballgame. They load it up on the left side. Now K starts in motion and a handoff up the middle. Bobby Humphrey, the rookie running back out of Alabama, to the 23-yard line. Clyde Simmons, number 96, makes the tackle. Pittsburgh defeats Kansas City by six to go four and four for the year. And Buffalo over Miami by 14. In overtime, New England and Indianapolis are tied at 20. And the Saints win it again. They're about to climb right back into this thing. Chasing San Francisco, of course. And San Francisco leads the Jets 7-0. Washington touchdown on a 99-yard kickoff return. And San Diego and Seattle are scoreless. Our score, 14-0. 2.08 to go, first quarter. That's Mobley in motion now. And Elway with the pass. Left side behind Mark Jackson with Eric Allen defending. Well, let's uh, focus in on Reggie White. The all-pro defensive tackle. Well, you can bet one thing that holding is something that Reggie White is very upset with. Is there holding here? No, that's just good job. But Reggie White, notice he, you will never see him get on a pass rush that someone, at least two people, are trying to block him, and in a lot of cases, burn three. That was Ken Lanier doing the blocking job there. Third down and seven now. Three wide receivers in. And Elway works out of the shotgun. Blitz coming. Simmons right in his face. And the pass incomplete. As Clyde Simmons had an unobstructed pass to John Elway. The thing that's happened for the Philadelphia Eagles, even though Reggie White does not have as many sacks as he has previously as the four and, four and a half coming into this game, he occupies more than two people blocking him, and it's freeing up Simmons from the outside. That time, the Broncos were so concerned about Reggie White and where he was that they totally forgot about Clyde Simmons. Clyde coming from the outside, no one blocked him. Gizmo Williams to return Mike Haran's punt. It's a dandy. And Haran to Gizmo Williams at the 20. Got some room. A fine return to the 43. Mike Haran, who punted nine times last week in Seattle and had none returned. This time, that 57-yard punt is returned 23 yards. That's almost the longest return of the year for Gizmo Williams. As a matter of fact, it equals his longest. 14-0. Eagles have the lead and the football. of tomorrow while you serve your country in the Navy of today.